Hi, I'm Dave Caldwell from Coonmore Pastoral Company in Lindeno South. The farming operation here has been in my wife's family for four generations. I'm a first generation farmer operating uh, the family business on behalf of my wife's family. I'm on a land area of about 1400 hectares. We're primarily beef um, with a few sheep as well and we generally run a, a breeding operation and carry our progeny through to sort of 12 to 14 months of age and, and sell them out as feeder weights. This block had been a dry land block and in the family since 1894 and in May of 2019 we were able to irrigate an area of sort of up to 150 hectares um, and for us that was that was as much about trying to make sure that we are in a better position next time it dries off. The biggest lesson I learned only being new to farming um, is ultimately that having a plan it, it, it almost cost you nothing other than your time um, and, and when I look at the things that we did well and the things that we perhaps could have done better one thing that was very evident to me when I cast my mind back to, to that period of time is that you know, with more forward planning we probably would have come up with the same decision but made it a little bit earlier. You know, the older version of me would say to the previous younger version, you know, even if it's only half a day, go and do something with your family or go and catch up with some friends because you'd be amazed at what difference that'll make, in, especially when you're making some pretty long-term decisions under stress. I'm certainly very aware these days that, you know, the time off farm, and even if it's only a small short break, is actually probably um, more important to your productivity and your, and your mental health than the time on the farm. Now, you know, when we go into the next dry period, we've got the knowledge that we learnt from last time, um, and we've probably, we've still got a lot to learn, but we would certainly say, you know, at the, as soon as things start to get tight, start to develop a plan, and then, and then you've got a lot more time to think about um, what's next. I would certainly encourage anyone you know, even if it's only people often have this mindset that, you know, if I'm going on holidays, it has to be a week or I don't relax. But I don't disagree with that when, when the times enable it. But I would also encourage even just, you know, half a day a week going and doing something um, just to take your mind off it, even if it is for a few hours.